What's a girl to do but just sit in her boudoir and scent her pussy? Hi, I'm Gabby and welcome back to another edition of The Fragrantition. Where here on this channel, we talk about nothing but perfumes. And like me, as you can see, if you are a cat lover and you want to be part of our tribe, then subscribe. So in today's edition, I thought let's, let's scent our furry friends. Not the two-legged variety, because let's face it, I've known a lot of two-legged pussies that don't step their pussy up. But the four-legged varieties, they certainly do step their pussy up. So I thought, why not dedicate a little scent video just to our friends, just to our, our furry friends. He is loving life. And why not? This is what, this is what animals are here for. They're here not just to give us comfort but and give us love, but you look down. Does is anybody like me and they look down upon an animal? And it's not just an animal, it's it's a being, it's a you feel so much love and the world just feels right. So without further ado Let's talk about scenting our four-legged friends. And I even had a few people that did ask if I could do a video on this. So I thought, yeah, why not? So, without, so, yes, I know my baby Claude, yes. So without further ado, let's just carry on and perfume our pussies. So I thought to myself, what would a Siamese cat wear? Let's do an honorary mention. And I thought, well, it had to be Ange ou Demon by Givenchy. Because a Siamese cat can be an angel one moment. And in the next breath, they can be a little devil. It was fairly easy to pick. It's sweet. It's playful. But it's devilish. Just like him. Just like this boy, it's the type of perfume that you look at and the type of cat you look at and you think, oh, they're so sweet, they're so lovable. But as somebody once did say to me, oh, you own a Siamese, you must be a tough broad. <laughs> and I thought, well, okay, I'll take that as a compliment because... To own a Siamese cat is not owning a Siamese cat, or any cat. The cat owns you. Ange de Mon, she owns you, he owns you, they own you. It's, it's not a perfume to be trifled with. And it has to suit a strong personality. And a Siamese cat... Is a strong personality. The next one is the complete opposite to a Siamese and that is a rag doll. A rag doll can be demure but a rag doll can be cosy. A rag doll cat is the perfect cat to get for a, for a family I would say like a Persian is. And what would they wear? What would a ragdoll cat wear? Well, I went for Shalimar Souffle Intense. And why did I pick this? Because it is just a cosy, cosy scent. The f I feel that the scent for the, the fur of a ragdoll is so soft and so oh it's just and when I smell this I have a it's ambery it's sweet it's and I've got an itchy nose it's everything that I love about a cosy 
sweet, vanillic, ambery scent. A rag doll is there. But a rag doll can still be a little bit... Rag dolls can be playful. Rag dolls can be quiet. My rag doll certainly is quiet. But rag dolls can be willful when they want to be. Believe you me. Any cat can be. So Chalamar Souffle Intense, I would say, is a rag doll in a bottle. So the next breed, I thought, well, what would a British short hair cat? You know, you, I don't want to say your standard cat, but you know, because they are a breed. British short hairs are just that. They're British short hair cats. What would they wear? They're quintessentially British. They're quintessentially English. And I chose Hera. And I chose Hera because I think British short hair cats just... This scent is quintessentially British, quintessentially English. It is like an English country garden. And I just think I just think it's because it's so English, because it's so British, it a British short hair would wear it. Well, a British short hair wouldn't wear it. But let's raise the flag for Britain and wear Hera. It is a British made brand after all um, and I think it's something to be proud of um, I think a British short hair they they're quite reserved but they can be part of the family and a British short hair has a sense of dignity about them as well and I think this scent has so Hera I would say a British short hair would definitely wear if they could now the next breed I used to have and I love so much and I chose for them the Russian blues of this world yes Claude the Russian blues he is dribbling on me that's how happy he is I chose Diorissimo by Dior. I was about to say Diorella then. That's another one. Diorissimo is a beautiful lily of the valley scent. It's indolic and sweet. Not too indolic, but it's it has a slight naughtiness about it. But it is classic. It's elegant. A Russian blue has a ballerina style. Can spin on a penny. And I think... Diorissimo would fit that bill for a Russian blue. They are, you can lock, uh, well, um, in, by mistake, I've locked Russian blues in a cupboard without realising it. And then an hour later, open the cupboard and they're, they're just there, just looking at you. They hardly meow. They will not meow. So be careful. They're quiet. They're demure. They will sit in the same room as you, but they may not sit on your lap. They can be quite, quite aloof. Although I did have one Russian blue, Anushka. She was my pride and joy. She was my cat. And she would wear, if she could, Diorissimo by Dior. A perfect, austere, elegant Lily of the Valley scent. Finally, the last breed I want to talk about is a Turkish van. And I do have a Turkish van. Her name is Electra. She is the queen Turkish fans, apparently, they were one of the only cats that went in Noah's Ark and their tail got caught as they were walking through and the hand of God put his marks on them. That's why they have those marks on the back, apparently. But I chose a Volden Rie by Guerlain. And why did I choose this one, you may ask? Because whenever I smell... Electra. She doesn't smell of a cat. She smells like this. She always smells clean. She's one of the cleanest cats. All cats are clean. Contradict, contra contrary to what people will say. All cats are clean. They, you know, I think they're cleaner than dogs. But, well, that's what I think. But, I'm going to spray this again. Oh, 
I feel it's a Turkish fan. They are austere. They are austere. They love water as well. This has a feeling of calm and a feeling of you just want to put your shoulders down. And my Turkish fan, she does that. She calms the household down. She puts all of the other cats in place, even this one. So, Voldenui has this clean, beautiful feeling I love. Even now, it's making my shoulders drop. It's one of those art scents. So I feel my cat Electra, a Turkish van, would wear Voldenui by Guerlain. So those were just a few scents for a few different breeds. What breed of cat do you think would wear a scent? Comment down below. But until next time, you've been watching another edition of the Fragrantition. He had to get up on my shoulder. Love your animals. They're not pets. They're family. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.